IIT Gandhinagar amongst one of the eight new IITs established by government of India in 2008 an IIT with campus which is India's first five star Griha LD campus for maintaining the negative effect on environment don't you think it's going to be interesting to know more about this institute so this video is going to be all about that in this video we are going to have the detailed college review of iit gandhinagar so make sure that you like the video subscribe the channel and stay tuned till the end of the video starting from year of establishment as i have already told you iit gandhinagar was established in 2008 It was amongst one of the eight new IITs established by government of India. Looking toward some of the national rankings of IIT Gandhinagar in the NIRF 2020 rankings from engineering category, IIT Gandhinagar was ranked 24th and it was ranked 35th from overall category. It means that IIT Gandhinagar stood at the 35th position comparing to all the top universities throughout the India. Now, moving on to the campus details of IIT Gandhinagar, the institute began operating in a temporary campus at Vishwakarma Government Engineering College Chandkheda and it was mentored by IIT Bombay. The new and permanent campus of IIT Gandhinagar is situated on the banks of the Sabarmati in Palaj village. If we look towards some more infrastructural details of its newly constructed permanent campus, Rangamanch is an open air theater with a capacity of 2000 which is a perfect stage for all kinds of events. In addition, a few academic buildings have their own rooftop open air theaters the campus also has a complex called central arcade with restaurants shops atms and upcoming movie theater too along with that a state of the art sports complex is also nearing its completion which contains olympic sized swimming pool indoor badminton and volleyball court and many more so the overall campus definitely looks quite impressive now looking toward the hostel facilities available here the institute has overall 12 hostels out of which six hostels are currently under construction the hostel buildings are equipped with high speed wifi uh, in the hostel you get a common library and reading room also you have a common game room which has the various indoor games for students to play so hostels are quite good now looking toward the mess facilities here two independent mess facilities are available here for students to choose from the mess facilities here have been awarded five star rating for the cleanliness food waste management and other parameters by fssai in addition to that numerous cafes are also here which offer wide range of food and beverages so eating is not at all an issue here now looking toward the library facilities here the library of iit gandhinagar has a fast growing collection of books journals magazines both in print and digital format covering most disciplines taught and researched at the institute to support the research activities library subscribes core collections of more than 70 journals e databases ebooks and others library has created an excellent infrastructure facility with all required software tools and technologies now looking toward the laboratory facilities at iit gandhinagar in current situation institute has many good laboratories available to conduct its research activities and many will be added in the future too Now if we look towards some of the recent research stats of the institute in the year 2019 five patents were published zero was granted in 2018 two patents were published none was granted in 2017 five patents were published but none was granted now looking toward the student intake capacity of the institute for the undergraduates four years program institute has the annual sanctions student in the capacity of 193 students in the academic year 2019-20 the institute had the overall 
actual student strength of 1063 students which includes all the category of students means undergraduates and postgraduates too out of these total students 135 undergraduate students were from within the state and no international student was here now moving on to the faculty resources of the institute iit gandhinagar has a very good team of 103 faculty members since it's an institute of national importance most of the faculty members here are phd holders and institute has the number of students to faculty ratio of 10 is to 1 it simply means that behind every 10 students one faculty member is available at iit gandhinagar now moving on to the graduation and placement outcomes of the institute in the academic year 2019-20 for the undergraduates four years program 156 students were graduated within the minimum stipulated time out of which 82 students were placed and 37 students were selected for higher studies the median salary package secured by the students was 8,96,500 rupees now looking toward the fee structure of the institute as per the latest data i could gather from the institute's official website an ordinary open category student has to pay the tuition fee of 1 lakh per semester and rest of the expenses lie something around 19,000 per semester. Keep in mind that all the expenses I have told you are only for one semester. So for each semester you have to pay the overall fees of something around 1 lakh 20,000 and for a complete academic year you have to pay the cumulative fee of something around 2 lakh 40,000. Now looking toward mode of admission here, since it's an IIT, most of the viewers already must be knowing that admissions here are conducted on the basis of the all India ranks scored by the students in the JEE advanced examination. If we look toward some of the cutoff details here, for the CSE 4 years undergraduate program, the cutoff rank for the open category student was something around 1500 and for the material science and engineering four years program, the cutoff rank for an open category student was something around 11,000. These are the two branches with the extremum of the cutoff ranks. The cutoff rank for rest of the branches lie between them. So for any further details about the cutoff ranks, you can check out the PDF given in the description box of this video. In that PDF, you will get the detailed cutoff ranks for all the categories and all the branches for the JOSA 2020 round 6. This college review of IIT Gandhinagar can never be complete unless we talk about the annual fests here. Amalthea is the annual student-run technical summit of IIT Gandhinagar. Tech Expo talks by speakers, various technical and non-technical events are organized here with the prize money worth in lakhs of rupees. Blitkron is the annual cultural festival of IIT Gandhinagar. It is the biggest cultural festival in Gujarat and has been named as the National Youth Festival of Gujarat by the government of Gujarat. Various cultural events featuring music, dance, arts are organized throughout this festival and various well-known artists have performed in this festival. Student Leadership Conclave is a sort of forum which aims to bring together the student leaders from all the IITs to brainstorm over the different issues faced by the students community to discuss them and to find solutions over them. Ignite is the annual technical fest of IIT Gandhinagar. It hosts a state-level technical exhibition for students and the faculties of institute throughout the Gujarat. Some of the notable shows organized during Ignite includes Bot War, Air Shows, ATV Designing, Lab Tours, Project Expo, Hackathons and 3D Printing Workshops. Halla Bowl is an all-night intra-institute sports festival of IIT Gandhinagar. Here, exciting competitions are held for the variety of sports.
Jashna is a three-day intra-institute cultural fest started in the year 2011 with innovative, traditional and exciting events and games, including art exhibition, photography, movie making competition, quizzes, dance, drama and music performance. So this is all about the annual fests at IIT Gandhinagar and with that, this is all about the college review of IIT Gandhinagar from my side. So whatever you think about the video, feel free to tell me that in the comment section below. I would love to read your comments. Along with that, make sure that you like the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.